let's talk about Ghost Cat. Now, uh, Ghost Cat has been a super menace to the digital space since 2019, targeting mobile devices with phishing redirects. It seems like history is repeating. Pat, why is Ghost Cat prime for a new assault basically any day now? I would say it's due to the new reaches from this threat group. So they're beginning to change into which networks they're actually poking on and starting to utilize. So it looks as though their trial phase is already imminent and it's potentially beginning. And usually when this takes place, it's going to lead to quick change in spend, blast out as many impressions as they possibly can, and hopefully get consumers. Wow. And we, because we saw something kind of similar, uh, if we look at that chart, like in June, that, that was the testing phase, just like a whole bunch of different incidents, right? Yeah. So it started out, you know, they, they tested across the board with lots of different areas. And then, of course, shortly after that, that's when they actually launched their attack. So, you know, Ghost Cat stands out to me because uh, they, the ad code, it doesn't contain creative or landing page URLs. It, it's really strange to me that other malware campaigns do a lot to hide their malicious intent, but Ghost Cat is just uh, out there, you know, letting its uh, malware flag fly. What's the strategy there? Eh? Why does this attack uh, boast such longevity? I would say it's because it's working. Their attack pattern is just working, plain and simple. So, you know, of course, they're going to update their code, change around their payloads, and use slightly different tactics. But for the most part, everything is continuing the same because they're having success at it. So why would they fix what isn't broke, even if their creatives are broke and won't actually render a creative for the end user? Yeah, I, I think it's... I think it's something definitely designed by somebody who's been in the industry, right? Because it takes advantage of a lot of things that platforms typically look for. They're looking for a landing page to scan. They're looking for an A domain. Um, they're looking for a creative. It's not uncommon in this industry for an ad to break and there's a blank or an impression that isn't counted. So I, I think they're using tactics that uh, the majority of us ops people and people that have been in the industry for long enough go, oh, that's you know normal ad behavior. There's a hundred reasons that could cause an ad to do that. Um, and, and I think it's a perfect way to kind of skirt by and then just kind of rapidly change the host. And that's something that's a lot harder to detect. Good point. And, you know, of note here, uh, right before the uh, Ukraine, inva Ukraine invasion by Russia, we saw a 5x increase in attacks on Ukrainian consumers leading the fishing brigade, Ghost Cat.